chamber. What happens if you win the prize pot and you don't have TS 2016? Then um, you'll win the prize, but you won't be able to do anything with it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I haven't got any spare copies of um, Mardi of uh, of Train Sim, so I can't really help you too much uh, with that. Right now, so here we are in here. We need to make our way up to the top. So let's get that point changed up here, over here. See that load time? How fast that was! Oh my word! Where are we going? Ah, here it is. It's the end line. We are already set up for that. Right, off we go then. This is the uh, 3B, and that's the J94 behind it. My favourite loco included with this, actually it's probably the J94. This is a nice, fun thing, it's, an, it's a bit different. But um, the J94 is just fabulous. Frame rate, about 75. That's better. that down a little bit. There we go. Uh, Francois, yes, the J94 is quite significantly in advance of the one that's already available. We're on the steep bit now. Apparently having the brakes on is a bad idea. <laughs> Ed's going to be shouting at me on Skype. Actually, he's probably going to be doing it more, more publicly. <clears throat> Ed has promised much ridiculing on the uh, on the chat. So that's Dominus Edwardius, by the way. Oh, this is so much more fun to play at a decent frame rate. <laughs> Let me move the chat. I just realised I have a, I'm missing a tool. I didn't quite get it all set up. I need that one. And now I can pull this over here and press that. Yay! Now I can see chat while we're to while I'm driving. Simon Lund, if your graphics are at the lowest, then I'm not sure there's much else you can do. Am I using XSplit? No, I am using um, OBS. the horn up there. Adam Gamer, the screen is the same size as normal, there's just normally a map running. Let me see if I can get the map running. We're not doing anything else at the moment, you know. Let me go into Visual Studio Projects and that one and that one and that one and that one. 
see what it does. I didn't like that at all. I know why that is. I will show you the map, yes, Train Fever. Uh, yes, Stargate King, I will uh, not play your scenario if I stream at the weekend. Understood. I'm not actually looking at the screen at the moment, so I'm hoping nothing goes wrong. Oh, I see. Cut the power and we speed up. Oh, that's because we've just leveled off. Colliery Part 2 4. Excellent. Right. Oh, there's the wagons up here. So we are going to couple those to the front and then go and couple some more. In fact, the ones we're coupling to are just in front of us. Uh, is this a freight train? Yes, this is used for shunting wagons around. Uh, Simon Lund, nothing German this week because there is but just about nothing in the in the backlog and nothing in the suggestions um that uh, that's german so that that's why there's nothing german which is sad so if uh, you you folks want to suggest some german stuff then i will happily play it couple to these wagons up here now or on the next couple instruction Deadly Dorito sent me a 424 scenario okay I didn't spot that I've done the North London line, yep, several times. Uh, Cami1905, thank you for the follow. Right, we're now coupling two other wagons to the front of the shunter at Curly Cole southbound, which is back here. So we now need to come back and we're going into... We're coming on the other line. And we're coupling those to the front, so we need to come around the other side, actually. Uh... If I come in on line four, yep, and then come back up, and then I can couple up to those two, and then we can couple those. Right, off we go. Yeah, there's a reason I haven't done those two yet. Um, I am going to do them, but I've generally had other things I've wanted to do, which have meant that an 80-minute and 90-minute scenarios are not high on my priorities. They never are. Anything over an hour is uh, is is difficult for me to fit in. Um, where's the map? Oh, yes, I was just figuring that out, wasn't I? Right, it's found it. Let's see if it works. Does it simulate battery failure? It certainly. Oh, well, Dominus of Wardius is actually on the channel, and he's one of the authors of it, so uh, he can tell you. But I believe you can run out of battery power, for example. 
Um, where's the map? Where is the map? Boom! We have a map. Oh, all systems are go. No lights, no, no lights. I can't remember the controls to do the lights. <laughs> Steve with glasses. Well, happy birthday to your wife and uh <laughs> see you later. Uh BNSF, I've got no idea. Yeah, we're all go apart from the rail driver. And the rail driver is not much use for these first two anyway. Alright, let's cut the power. Put it in uh, one of the dynamic brakes. It's got um, the uh, electric brakes on it as well. How much do you earn as a developer? It really depends on what you do. Different people earn different things. Moggy says two pound fifteen a hairy toffee. Well, you're clearly earning the good money, Moggy. Crikey! Everyone's going to want a piece if you keep shouting that out. Control one, three, or four. I think I've got to turn them on, haven't I? Presumably. Oh, what's this? Cab light. Yeah, that's definitely a cab light. Whoops, no. You know what? I'm going to focus on driving. Front right. Tail light. What's that one say then? <laughs> Ah, oh, you know what, never mind about lights. I'll worry about them later on. Oh, back end is control 678. Okay. In that case, let's have a look here, shall we? I've presumably got to turn them on. Oh, that's just the cab light. Oh, I'm confused. How long will I have this PC for? Um, I will have this PC until Monday when I go back to work on Monday morning. So the IT guy was having a, had a look at the um, uh, the the other PC I was using, um, the other fast one, the one that kept dying and crashing and going horrible. Um, the uh, they the one that originally had the power supply problem, um, he's now he's basically come to the same conclusion on, after a lot more extensive testing that yeah the graphics card is dead, so uh, he is going to uh, get another graphics card sorted out and uh, hopefully we'll get that one back which would be good. That's faster than this machine. Alright, so we've got to come all the way through the yard. And then couple up to a couple more wagons. Hey there, Katie. Yes, Fast Line released a load of wagon packs as well, haven't they? I want, what I might do is, if I do a stream this weekend, I might do a whole pile of uh, uh, something just showing off all of the different fast line wagons because there's some good stuff in there. Hey, 
Hey there, Fred the Fish rocks. Fred the Fish does indeed rock, whoever Fred the Fish is. No problem, Katie. Enjoyed it. It was a good scenario. It's APT Steve. Outstanding. Right, so we're coming down. Set the line to come out. Well, I get the feeling that brake has gone off. wrong one. Fair enough. Right. Okay. Now I want to go into line three actually, so that's fine. I want to come up to that one. And get those two and then those three. I think I broke it. Oh, okay. It was fine. There we go. Going into Maricol southbound two. What difference in tracks is there between memories of uh, and return to Mardi route? So return to Mardi is is essentially less track. It's the modern version. Um, so uh, all the passenger stations have been ripped out. Although you can still see sort of the re the relic of them. Um, and uh, and it's really just a freight uh, line which links up the coal um, the colliery at the top um, back to the main line. Um, that really is all this this uh, this line is really about at this point. I mean, the traffic the track plan not really look a lot different from here. It's uh, you'll see some bits are single track. This is all single track now, all the way, um, all the way down to the main line when we get there, down to Porth. Right, we're coming up to these wagons up here. Dilly Dorito, would it be so bad if you ran like non colliery steam on this? Why not? Run a preserved sort of uh, a heritage journey to, uh, you know, with a 14XX up and down the line or something. There's no passenger stations, but that doesn't mean you can't um, stop and, you know, make believe. slowing down. I was wondering if we were going to actually slow down. <laughs> I 
Right, we're going to catch the next load of wagons now. Which are these ones. The train's moving, it's just uh, at the other end it's moving. Thanks to the German scenario Ertens. Uh, Volvo fan, um, what you need to do is to raise a support ticket and uh, make your requests or suggestions that way. That's uh, that's definitely a uh, a better way of uh, making. So there's nothing I can do about it, I'm afraid. All right, so I'm going to pin some brakes down since we're going to drop these ones off here. Let's pin all of them down. That'll make life fun for the uh, the next person to come along. Have to all of the brakes. Seriously. Right. Dropped off. Right now we've got to go and couple these ones uh, in Mardi Colliery siding PT23. That's back up north, up, up the top again, isn't it? All right, sure is. Off we go back then. I'd love to see something in like that Vol uh, Volvo Fanets, Volvo Fan ETS2. You're going to have a go at this route with an O3. Heathen. Heathen. J94. Or a 2F dock tank or something. Do, do it in a, in a, uh, in a nice, nice steam engine. What do you think about yard work? Oh, I like shunting. Except when Darkness Monster makes the scenario. I don't like it quite so much then. <laughs> Right, so that's that on there. Now I need to route round this load up here, head back up, and we're going to the next line over. Just that one. Think I'm oh well, I'm going the wrong way. No, you're looking at the wrong end of the train. Oh. Steam is diesel with a boiler on. Someone needs to sort this bloke out. <laughs> Drawing pins at dawn. <laughs> What's dark ever done to me? God, yeah. that scenario. Oh my word. Right, we are on our way back up the hill. Apparently we barely started, crikey. So we're going to couple to the front uh, and then couple those, couple those, and add them to the back of that train. Drop it off, and then we go get those. We got those. So effectively we've got three movements to do, and we're on number two at the moment. Uh, Amtrak lover, yes, this is the return to Mardi route. Uh, and you can get this on Steam. It was released today. Steve says he thinks this is his favourite route this year. I have to say, I think the J94, I'm still saying the J94 is my favourite. Even though it's, yeah, boring, another another Steam engine. And this actually has the, it's different. This is really different. But that new J94 is gorgeous. Oh, better than the K1. Yeah, I don't know actually, that's tough. We're on a 1 in 50 at the moment.
This is an electric black five, yep, something like that. <clears throat> is it safe to say this is the first engine of its type on TS? Yeah, I don't think I've only seen any other battery locos. Technically a blue three. Let's turn that off. Laptop back then. No, this is actually my desktop. This is the one I used for the um, the stream uh, on the Children in Need stream. So this is slightly better spec than my laptop. It's almost identical actually, but it's the desktop version, which is naturally a bit faster. A cab on a bogey, did I call it that? <laughs> no wonder Ed hasn't spoken to me for weeks. There's one of the, uh, so very similar to this, the overhead electric version at the um, Kreitz Tram Museum. I love how if you bang it twice it actually sounds different. Very good. It's an Intercity 125 in disguise. It is, isn't it? It's slightly shrunk. But it's got the same, you know, this sort of shape. That's the camera up there, that sort of shape. You can see it's just a squashed into city, isn't it, really? Right, we're coming up. PT two three. Yep, that's where we're going. Sound keeps dying away. It's definitely a cool loco ends eight. Um do I think monorail or suspended train could uh, will be able to? Uh, I'm sure someone could make it. There's no reason why someone can't make it. Is the microphone better tonight, folks? Because the microphone port on this PC works, so I can use this microphone tonight rather than the uh, me ball, which isn't doing anything. Right, so we're coming up here and we're going to get some wagons. I don't know what I'm doing here. Let me focus on not crashing into these wagons. How does that sound? Drive quality? Out of order.
Right, now, having coupled these ones up, I believe I'm now going to couple up to these ones. And then couple up to the next ones. And now we're going back to Curly Cole southbound and we're going to add these to the train that's down there already. Oh, I see, that's the electric light. Alright. There we go, we've got a headlight on. Woohoo! Really, other than, other than the um, the advanced preview, this is the first time I've used the logo. <laughs> what are we up to? 139. Uh, I have no idea what we'll get up to tonight, but 139 is pretty awesome. I'm not going to complain about that. Right. Braz Grizz, don't do that battery train quick. <laughs> yep. Right, put the e-brake on. Manage it down the hill. Where are we going now? We're going actually into the same siding as before. So if we do the same trick and come down line the fourth one, we should be good. Yes, you can open the doors on this one. Sitting there bored, checking his watch. Your car has an e-brake at all for I love the e-brake on my car. Prius does it well. <laughs> uh, Volvo Fan ETS2. Uh, I'm not doing North London Line today, but um, I will definitely be playing another uh, North London Line scenario at some point. Yeah, 3F would be good on here, J50, Doc Tank, they're all good possibilities. Basically all the mesh tools, locos, strangely enough. Anyone would think they have a theme going on. Nine F. <laughs> I don't think I'd have any problem with the grades, but it might have a problem with some of the curves. Darkness wants to wants to put a GT3 on it.
we still have an American freight scenario tonight. Sadly not. That's okay, we can't do everything every night. If there's still people on later on, I'm even finished, you know, at one o'clock in the morning. I haven't got to get up tomorrow morning, so I might, uh, I could possibly go ahead and do another scenario. We'll see what time it is and if anyone actually cares. <laughs> there's like 20 of you and you're like, go, oh, go to bed. <laughs> then I won't. Or if I'm falling asleep, then I probably won't. Right, coming into line four. So we need to couple to the front again. So we're going to have to run round and push back up again. Darkness Monster has to get up, so... That's not good enough, Darkness Monster. <laughs> it's a lovely route. I've always liked the Mardi route. Problem is the thing, Moggy is I've given up with beauty sleep. I decided that it's just not ever, never going to work. So there's no point worrying about it. All right, let's get the uh, handbrake on. And while it stops, switch over to the other line, and then once it's stopped, we can push forward again. Where is in Mardi? Uh, we're in Wales. Push in. We are pushing. Right. Alistair CR419, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Mr. Trainco says, Expand T Steam cards. I don't know what you mean. Do you mean explain? Could I do something on switch diamonds in train sim? Do you mean as in laying the point work? Uh, have a look. I've done an like an a tutorial on laying points and tweaking the junctions because there's all sorts of parameters you can use to adjust how the all of the other lines, are, all of the um, I've forgotten the words uh, frogs and things are all laid out and check rails and all that stuff. Ooh. Okay, not too bad. Alright, we've coupled up. Right, so we drop these off here.
And now we need to head back. Uh, JM, I have absolutely no idea why the dash, what, what state the dash sevens are in. If they're not released, then they're not ready to be released. Is the only thing I can, uh, I would deduce. They certainly wouldn't be held back for no good reason. Right, so we're going to get those two, which are going to be coupled to the back. So we need to come back, go forwards, and go back again. We need to explain steam cards. Um, steam cards are an odd thing because at the first instance it doesn't seem like they're particularly useful. For people who like to collect stuff, they're, that's what they're really meant for. So when you play, a, when you buy a brand new game, if it's got steam cards, um, then the first couple of hours that you're playing that game, you will be given um, a starter set, if you like, of um, Steam cards uh, for that game. And that equates roughly to half of the set. Um, come on. Oh. And then this one. Yep, we got the right light on now. Um, And so you um, so you get given some cards. So let's say there are eight cards for a particular title. You'll be given generally four cards, random cards, and they may even be all the same cards. It's random, um, but you'll be given four in total over the course of the first two to three hours that you play a game. What you can then do is trade the cards to get other cards. You could buy cards from marketplace. And then eventually you will hopefully end up with a full set of cards. Now you might just say, you know what? It's uh, I'm happy. I just wanted a full set of cards. In which case you can stop. And you're happy. You've got your collection. Or you might say, I want the badge. Um, in which case you press the craft button uh, that appears, and you can get the um, you can get the badge, which deletes all the cards but gives you the badge. And you can do that four times to get each of the different badges. So you have to get the whole set of cards four times and then you can get all of the badges. Each badge also gets you some experience points on your Steam account, if that's what you want. doesn't really mean anything. Um, there is also then a foil set of cards, to just a different colour basically, um, and those, when you collect all of those you can get the foil badge. Good night, see you Rogers. <coughs> um, Every time you craft a badge, as well as getting the badge, you will also potentially get um, some wallpapers, some emoticons to use in Steam chat, and all sorts of things. And I set all of those up for Train Sim, so you get all sorts of funky stuff uh, when you craft. So there's little steam engine icons and wagons and so forth that you can have in Steam chat that you can uh, that you can use. So they're all available um, that you can earn, and you can again you can sell the emoticons, you can sell the um, for real money even. I mean it might only be three or four pence but you can sell them for real money and you can buy them for real money on the marketplace. So if you don't want to mess about with the cards you can usually find everything all on the um, on the marketplace and just buy it. I mean the cards generally go for three or four pence each um, so you can complete a whole set for thirty pence. Um, so really it, it's not an expensive thing to do it's just if you don't, if, it's, if you're sitting there thinking but why would I do it? Then it's probably not for you. <laughs> some people, if you've got, some people really like the whole, you know, things to collect. In which case, they love it. I quite like the idea, but I must admit, I have a limited usage of it. I certainly, I buy cards uh, very occasionally, but for the most part, I'm just, uh, I get one set, get the first badge, and I don't do it again. What I do is I collect all of my Steam trading cards, and then I pick one that I actually want to get all of them for, sell all the cards not related to that and then um, use the money I earn from that to pick up the cards that I do want which means I get basically the the collections that I do want for nothing Oh, that drive quality penalty. That's not annoying at all, is it? 
Coal Road siding is where we are going. Soldra Kid, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Have I got. Am I supposed to be doing reverse here? I am supposed to be in reverse. <laughs> does this look have any sound? It does. But it's just a buzzing of an electric motor. Let me see if I can turn the sounds up a little bit more on the game because it is a bit quiet. Train boy, you don't have to keep repeating it. I got the message, thank you. Right, hopefully that's a bit louder. Right, we are going up here now to get this uh, pair of wagons. That J94 is a behemoth compared to this thing. A little bit careful, we're just levelling off, otherwise we'll go flying off into those wagons. Right. Couple up to these, and then we'll go and get the next lot. Where's the next lot? Merdy Coal Bay 1. Oh, no, we're dropping these off up up there. Which is, change that point, and we're dropping those off up there. Wow, this really is all over the houses, isn't it? Make use of the run up. <laughs> yeah, you can see the full route map. That is the full route map. We are just leaving here, heading our way back up to um, the colliery. Wow, Victor, that sounds pretty uh, bad. Right.
Good night, uh, Sis Graves. Right, we're working our way up the hill and we're going to drop those off there. We're then going to couple up to these two wagons bring them back to the coal road siding and then go to the engine shed and we are due to be finished in three minutes so we're going to be very very late Have I seen any Norfolk Southern Heritage units in person? No train boy, I've only actually seen half a dozen um, American trains at all. Tell you one constant with these scenarios that's really nice actually is that um, these scenarios take you two or three goes to get right. One to sort of figure out what you've got to do, and then another to um, to sort of perfect how you do it quickly. So I've got I burned myself earlier on, and I've just scratched the blister. It hurts like crazy now. Can I speed up a bit? I'm on full power, so no. We're going up a steep hill with. Well, I say a heavy load, but it's two wagons. But for some reason we're taking loaded wagons up the hill, which just sounds a bit strange. This low car a few Duracell double A's in it, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and I blew a plug earlier when I was practicing on the J ninety four, yes. To be honest, my practices on that J94 were a bit of a comedy of errors. How did I burn myself? Bacon. I was cooking bacon the other day, and um, when I put the bacon in the frying pan, the fat jumped out and got me. But that's fine. It was bacon. Bacon is forgiven. I got two or three burn marks all over my arm. <laughs> Second degree burns, my wife calls them. They hurt like crazy, but that's okay. Should have recorded it. Well, you know what? It might well happen yet, you know. Oh, we're speeding up. Stopped, uncouple. Right. Oh, 
That was loud. I possibly should have expected that. Right, now we need to set the line to come out. Train boy, which heritage units have you seen? Alright, reverse back down. We're going to couple up to those. And then we're going to make our way back down and drop them off. So a couple to those and then drop those back off at there. Great. Let's get on and do that then. My E key stopped working. Oh. It's the B key, not the E key, you twit. You can even see the handbrake lever going round, look. Oh, how awesome is that? Just realised I'm heading rapidly towards some wagons, I should think about that. The Virginian, the Elosian Terminal and the Interstate. Elosian? Do you mean the Illinois Terminal? The green one? I like the green one, that's quite nice, just because it's different, it stands out. Hey there, Morgy Bears, welcome. Right, get coupled up and then head down. A grunk. <laughs> Is that a drunk grunk? Good evening, Patrick. Train boy, I'm guessing it's the interstate. On our way back down the hill. We're now very, very late. I'm not going to get much score, I don't think. <coughs> Especially not with speeding.
Late as usual, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> using the e-brake to keep the speed under control. Pra Patrick Abietz, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Uh, JM1260, uh, li you, I like all of the emails you've been sending, your little, um, your fictional as if real, uh, they're all really good. JM1260 sends me these emails and they're done from the perspective of they're written like a, a journal um, you know I went out and did some train spot, uh, rail fanning here and I saw these things and then there's screenshots from train sim and it's all fictional but it plays that it's, it's always really interesting to read he's got an interesting uh, eye for uh, creating things Nerdyman582, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Right, going into the uh, siding now. Sammy4468, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. We're going forwards now, aren't we? Is this forwards or is this backwards? The equivalent of fan fiction but with rail spotting. You're right, it is. No, I was going the right way. I <laughs> broke the train again. <laughs> Let's just uh, come back off the hill a little bit. Four weeks, 99. How long am I streaming for? Haven't a clue, if I'm honest. I'm just going to stream until I'm bored or fall asleep. So more likely when I fall asleep. Um, the plan... Why are we going that way? Don't want you to go that way. I've forgotten which way is forward. It is backwards I want to go, isn't it? I guess we're struggling because we're on a 1 in 40. Have I tripped the breaker? Is that why we aren't getting anywhere? Hey, we got power. Right, we're pushing them up the 1 in 40 now. We've got a bit more of a steep grade coming up here though. Negative glod coming up, I think you're right, yeah. Ah! 
Hey, Hahnemann, uh, every consist has to be assigned some tasks. So you can't just make it just start going, because you've got to tell it where to go. Um, is that one in 26 up here? Stuff them in the uh, in the hill there, shall we? Right, let's uncouple. Let's put the brakes on. Be good citizens. Off to the engine shed. What's the voltmeter say? Uh, it's just about what three ninety-five, something like that. Right, <clears throat> now, back to that one and then stop in the engine shed. Well, if I, hey Hahnemann, if you assign a pickup task and you don't give a, sp a specific time to it, then it should just get on and do it. It'll, uh, they'll, they always default when you give them new instructions to being now. <laughs> 15 minutes late. <laughs> Yay me. <laughs> right. Oh, minus 20,000. Oh, love it. Love it. Right. <laughs> okay. Let's turn that down a bit. Right, now. <laughs> uh, minus 20,000. Yeah, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the uh, the next one. It's not my best score. My best score is minus 100,000 or minus 80,000. Um, right. Um, not close to the best score. If it's a 